I hurt you before. Don't want to hurt you no more. Baby, this, this time I'm wrong. How can I say I'm sorry to you? I was blessed, blessed with your love, and I did you wrong, and I'm sorry for sure. Don't want to hurt you no more, baby, this, this time I'm wrong, how can I say I'm sorry, I was blessed, blessed with your love. And I did you wrong now. Sorry, baby. Okay, I better stop. Before I get another flag. <laughs> good morning, people. Good afternoon. Good evening to you. Whatever side of the diaspora that you may be on, let me welcome you. Now. I am your host, Tadija. Check this out, y'all. A lot of y'all don't really know what happened to Dr. Dre. Um, and, you know, suffering that brain aneurysm, which is basically a stroke, you know, a hemorrhaging of the brain. Um, most sort of, you know, your brain can't take too much. And that's what I want to say about musical geniuses like that, like Quincy. Uh, Quincy is another one who suffered with a debilitating uh, brain aneurysm, and I'm surprised that, you know, he, that's why he got that big old gash in the middle of his head, where he had the surgery, and science wasn't even as good as it is today, medical field, and he survived, so that gives a good indication of, and testament of how strong he is, but listen to this. Back in January 2021, Dr. Dre almost lost his life due to a very scary health incident. This was him dealing with a brain aneurysm overnight, which led him being rushed to the damn hospital. Wow. Dr. Dre uh, went on to spend several weeks hospitalized. His condition quickly got better. Doctors had to come to his home as well just to make sure that there were no health setbacks. It was also unclear what initially caused Dre's aneurysm. Thinking too much or writing too much. Brain get too deep with that music um, or anything you focused on like that. You know, there's that possibility you putting that strain on the brain. And that's why people who are creative geniuses like that uh, need to be in my opinion, honored a little bit more because a lot of people don't even have a clue what it takes to get music out, to create music. Um, and I'm talking about from a production standpoint, it's very easy to be on the low end of it. But they all are important. But when you're in the studio, when you're doing production work, it's really taxing and it's really taxing on the brain. That's all I want to say about that. Um, Dr. Dre is now opening it up about suffering that brain aneurysm. Uh, Dr. Dre explained how doctors believed that he was going to pass away and how his family were the only ones allowed into the hospital. And due to the COVID-19 protocols, you already know, that made it very limited. So Dr. did not, he did so to allow Dre's family to give their possible goodbyes. Well, Dre recovered and went on to thank all the medical professions on Instagram who cared for him. Wow. Now, Dylan, during all that, when that was going on, at the same time, he was also dealing with a divorce 
from Nicole Young. So that uh, had been ongoing since 2020, and she eventually received $100 million. Uh, Dre is now legally ruled a single man. So, you know, that is in, uh, incredible. But he's now opening up, talking about what that experience was like when he almost died and um, how God saw fit to let him stay here a little while longer. And that is to create more music. And that is also to tie up the loose ends that we're supposed to tie up. Like, I know I'm on grace. When I had my, uh, um, what you call it, pretty much the same thing, except it went into my lungs and got caught. You know, it, those are the things that make you, because for a while you think you're invincible. And God has sit something on your heart and on your body and let you know, hey, this body has an expiration date and I'm in control of everything. And don't you forget it. So, you know, I, I really want to thank him for opening up about that. Because it's very personal, you know. And a lot of people, like I said, um, attributed to all the stress and stuff that he was going on and going through in his life at that time. But he certainly almost died. And I'm glad that you didn't. I'm glad that you're here. And uh, what y'all think about that? Y'all know he almost passed away from the aneurysm. Those of y'all probably in California was probably pretty, uh, you know, privy to that information. Those of us that live here, um, like I said, you know, main, the mainstream media didn't let us know that he was suffering that bad. So let me know your opinion about Dr. Dre and this um, aneurysm. All right. I'll see you in the next video.